What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Crawford and Hill back with another banger, back with another lesson. For today's lesson, we're gonna learn the pattern to multiplying by 100 and 1000. The pattern to multiplying by 100 and 1000. So we're gonna do a quick review. Last time we learned the pattern when multiplying by 10, and that pattern was all digits move one place value to the left. All digits move one place value to the left when multiplying by 10. So we're going to take what we learned with that and apply it to multiplying by 100 and 1,000. So for our first example, we have 23. So we need to go on and get our 23 represented on our place value chart. So that means we got three ones. So we go one, two, and three. And now I got to go on and get my set of two tens up there. Okay. One and two. Now, the problem that we're going to start with first is multiply this 23 times 100. Now, the pattern we're multiplying by tens was to move one place value to the left. And the reason we move one place value over to the left is because of this one placeholder that we had. So, here's the secret. The number of placeholders that the number have, that's how many times we're going to move to the left when we are multiplying by a number such as 10, 100, and 1,000. So today we're multiplying by 100, and when we look at 100, it has not one, but two placeholders in there. One and two. Two placeholders. So you know what that means? That means we're going to move two place values to the left. We're going to move two place values to the left. So right here, we're about to model it. We're going to start with the ones. So the ones is going to move one, two. Okay? So that means there's going to be three hundreds. So one, two, two, and three. Okay? Then we're going to take whatever we have in the tens place. Looking right here, we have two tens. And because we have two placeholders, we have to move it two place values to the left. So I'm going to show you. One, two. Okay, so that is the thousands, and I need two thousands. One, two. And looking at that, we can tell that we have two thousand, three hundred, and everything behind it is going to turn into a placeholder. So the product of 23 times 100 would be 2,300. Okay, so let's go to see what that will look like just using digits. Okay, so we have 23 times 100. And we say that that is two tens and three ones. If we look at the placeholders, one, two, that lets us know to move two place values to the left. So all digits are going to move two place values to the left. So I'm going to go one, two, and right here is going to be my three. And those three ones are now three hundreds. So I'm going to take my two tens, one, two. And those two tens are now going to become two thousands. And again, everything behind it turns into a placeholder. So therefore, 23 times 100, the product is 2,300. Whoop, whoop, there it is. All right, huh? You say, but how does that work for the thousands when we must try by thousands? Bet, I got you. We finna take care of that right now. Real quick before we get up out of here. Okay, so the example that we're gonna work with, we're gonna work with 14. And let's say we wanna do 14 times 1,000. 14 times 1,000. All right, now. Before we multiply 14 times 1,000, let's first represent our 14 on this place value chart. We have four ones. Let's get them up there. One, one, two, a three, and a, okay, that was a four, but hold on, and a four. There we go. I got it. And then I need one set of 10. Boom. I got my number 14 up there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we got to take that 14, multiply that thing by 1,000. Well, we said... Well, we said 
when we multiply by 10, we move one place value to the low because it has one place on it. And then we said when we multiply by 100, we move two place values to the left because it has two place holders. Well, what do you think we're going to do when we multiply by 1,000? Move how many times to the left? That's it, that's it, you got it. Three times to the left because it has one, two, three, three place holders. So we're going to move it three place values to the left. Let's give it a shot. We're going to start with the ones. Right here, I have four ones, and I need to move three place values to the left. One. Two, three. So that means right there, those ones are now going to be thousands. So I have four ones, so now I need four thousands. One, one, two, uh, two, three, four, four. Okay, got my four thousands up there. Now I gotta do the same thing right here. I got my one tens, and I gotta move that three place values to the left. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Wah, wah. There you go, there you go. So that means that one ten is now going to become one ten thousand. Get on the stuff. Wah. So that means that we have one ten thousand there, and we have four thousands there. And what's going to happen to all of these place values? We're going to fill them things with a placeholder. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. You say, hey, what that mean? That means that 14 times 1,000 will be 14,000. That is the product. So let's just do it real quick with just the digits. And we are about here and we done. Okay, that example was 14 times 1,000. So we start with 14, okay? And that thing is going to move how many times to the left? Three place values to the left. Let's go. So we're going to start with the ones. One, two, three. Okay? And that's that four. We're going to put that four right there. Wah, wah, back there. All right. Now let's move this one. One, two, three. Oh, what we're going to put right there? That one. So if you notice what happened, those four ones turned into four thousands. These one tens turned into one ten thousand. And then we just fill it, the empty ones, empty place values with placeholders. And four, 14 times 1,000 gives us a product of 14,000. All right, all right. Just to recap real quick. Anytime we're multiplying by tens, our digits are going to move one place value over to the left because it has one placeholder. When we multiply by 100, we move our digits two place values to the left because it has two placeholders. And when we're multiplying by 1,000, our digits move three place values to the left because it has three placeholders. It's your boy Crawford Hill, Saturday night. Holla at your 